Here we go, guys, it's Thursday. He just caught me uh, cooking up a load of chicken. I've got about two kilos of chicken here cooking up. And I'm just going to basically cook up the whole lot, chuck it in the freezer, half of it in the fridge, and um, have it all portioned and ready to go, ready to uh, have whenever I really need it. So today's video is part three. In the first video, we talked about the genetic variables that affect us and our ability to train. In the second video, we looked at the different body types, so we actually knew which body type we are. And now that you guys know that, we'll look at how you guys can adapt your training and nutrition for best effect. So ectomorphs, these are the guys where they say, no matter what I eat, I can never gain weight. And they've always been very thin and very lean. In bodybuilding, they tend to be ripped, lightweight guys uh, in the middle weights, rather than having massive heavy weight types. And uh, when they retire from any competition or any kind of training, um, they tend to lose a lot of their muscle mass very, very quickly. But despite that, a lot of ectomorphs have gone on to get very healthy in terms of good muscle size and have uh, been able to do very well in the bodybuilding community. So for you ectomorphs out there, here's the tips for you. First one is to slow down. Because ectomorphs are very thin and you've got very fast metabolisms. So the first and most obvious solution is less activity. You need to slow down what you're doing throughout the day. Because your engine's idling too fast and you're all jittery. So you just need to kind of do a bit less activity than you would, which is kind of the opposite from what everyone else is being told to do. Another tip is actually to get more sleep. Um, because ectomorphs by nature don't need much sleep and they often suffer from insomnia but uh, they burn so many calories even while they're not physically active so the more sleep you get at night um, the lower your metabolism is going to be. A lot of ectomorphs tend to get pretty stressed out and hyperactive so another tip is to just kind of take up some kind of meditation or um, do some stress reduction techniques just to play, you know, reduce the cortisol in your body and improve the environment for muscle building. Another one's generally to really reduce your overtraining because ectomorphs respond best to brief high intensity training programs. Daily training and marathons are incredibly counterproductive for you guys. So you need to get in and out of your gym quickly and allow plenty of recuperation and recovery between your workouts. Another one really is to not do cardio that much. You really don't need it and body fat's not really a problem for you. So 15 to 30 minutes a day, three times a week is way loads. So you don't need any more than that. In terms of your nutrition, just make sure you keep the calories high. Never ever miss a meal. Um, have lots of calorie dense foods. So lots of good fats like avocados, nuts, oils, all of those good things to really pile the calories on. Also, you guys don't need these low carb diets because you're just gonna burn it all up really easily and carbohydrate is good when you can eat it. So 50 to 55% of your total daily calories can be carbohydrates, about 30% protein and about 20% fat would be a good macro ratio for you guys. One last thing for the ectomorphs is to pay attention to your food quality because uh, you quickly discover you can get away with eating certain foods without any effect on your body composition. But remember your health is still very important. Make sure you keep the quality high so that your health is optimal for building muscle and bone. Okay, you mesomorph guys out there, you lucky guys. Um, the ironic thing about you guys is it really doesn't matter what you eat or how you train, your body's going to lose fat and gain muscle anyway. But you guys do have your downfall. A lot of you guys coast on your genetics and don't really bother to put too much effort into your training. And as a result, you really don't realize your true potential. Because a lot of the time, the less genetically blessed person is the one who's going to have more discipline, more willpower, and more determination as they develop. Um, so it's important for you guys to develop that yourself and to set high standards for yourself. Again, pay attention to your food quality. Because even though you can get away with eating crappy food and keep the weight off, you still need to make sure you preserve good health. Um, to make sure that you have good energy levels and uh, you're good mentally and physically as you train. Right, chicken's just about done. It's really good actually. So finally we're onto the endomorphs. When it comes to endomorphs, um, especially in terms of fat loss, you need a really well-planned strategic approach to nutrition and training. 
compared to the other two body types. So you need to focus on high levels of activity and lots of discipline and willpower and consistency in your nutritional habits. First of all, high protein and minimum to low carbs because um, a lot of endomorphs are, as I said, carbohydrate sensitive. So keeping the carbohydrates down is um, going to make sure that you keep your insulin levels under control. So sugar is a major no-no in the majority of the time. Of course, you can fit it into macros, but you want to keep it to a minimum. Even a close to perfect diet isn't going to work by itself, unfortunately. So you're going to need to do plenty of cardio to stimulate your metabolism. And uh, that, along with good weight training, is going to get you your results. When I say do cardio, I mean a good amount of cardio, like a large amount. So you're looking at doing at least four to five times a week and extreme endomorphs need to do it every day or maybe even twice a day. If you stop doing cardio, it's all just gonna come back on. So when you do get to your desired body weight, you need to taper your cardio off gradually so that you don't get a rebound. In general, you just need more activity because endomorphs are prone to relaxing and being lethargic and not being very much in terms of their motion. So you need to um, get out on the treadmill, go rowing while watching TV. Just get on your feet. You're actually going to burn three times more calories if you stood up than if you sat down. So just getting off your ass and moving is going to really help you. In terms of your mindset, you just need to make a lifelong commitment of fitness for you to get results. You've got to avoid those quick fixes, avoid the fad diets. Um, just think of an ultimate long-term success and getting into good habits, basically. So once you've begun getting those good habits going, you need to keep it going. Otherwise, you're going to start falling backwards. So long vacations from physical activity are not a good idea. Keep the results coming by keeping the work going consistently. In terms of training, the basic disposition um, for endomorphs is to take it easy and relax. But if you are an endomorph, you need to really fight this urge and train with high intensity. So make sure you're training frequently, make sure you're training often and high intensity, and make sure that each time you are training, it's a decent duration. So cardio needs to be um, at least 20 minutes, but ideally it's um, 40 or 30 to 45 minutes would be ideal. Don't go beyond 60 minutes, but um, getting up towards 60 is a good idea. Also, make sure you don't oversleep because a lot of endomorphs do a lot of excessive sleeping and they uh, should be early risers. So the chances are you need to really resist this urge, get up early in the morning for some cardio and get into that habit. Uh, to improve your metabolism. In terms of daily habits, make sure you watch less TV. Get yourself out the living room, outside, doing stuff, doing some physical activity. And do lots of metabolism stimulating exercise, jobs around the house, lifting weights, helping out with gardening, doing whatever you can to move and increase your metabolism. When it comes to cheap meals and just um, pigging out, really keep that to only once a week. Keep your calories in check keep yourself consistent and persistent seven days a week 52 weeks a year and one final note to take away from all of this is you shouldn't just take tips from one of those groups remember you're going to be a combination of all three so have a look at all three in terms of the tips i've given there and see which ones are going to apply to you for best results and at the end of the day no matter how well gifted you are or how little gifted you are with the body that you've been given there are a lot of factors that you still have plenty of control of and that's how much you eat what you eat, when you eat, the type of exercise you do, the frequency that you do it, the length of time that you do your exercise, how hard you exercise, your overall lifestyle and your mental attitude towards your situation. The truth is there's a lot of things that you can control. You are responsible. If you refuse to accept this, you're never going to reach your full potential. And if you have excess body fat and want to lose it permanently, the first step is to accept 100% total responsibility for the circumstances you're in. Because making excuses with genetics is relinquishing your control and conceding that you're at the mercy of circumstances instead of beating the creator of your circumstances. So you need to avoid blaming and taking responsibility for your results in your life and take action. Start working out, eat better, do something, do anything. But just don't sit there on the couch and curse your parents for passing you the wrong chromosomes. So the last tip I'll give you today before I've eaten my entire load of chicken from doing this video is to not try to become better than someone else. Try and become better than you used to be. 
Instead of focusing on your comparisons, focus on progress and self-improvement. And do the absolute best you can with what you've got, and then you'll be able to look at yourself in the face, in the mirror every day with pride, self-esteem, and seeing yourself as a true winner. That's the video today, guys. I've just had a crap load of chicken that I haven't logged on my fitness pal, so I've no idea what I'm gonna do. I've no idea how much I've eaten. But remember to give this video a like. If you haven't subscribed, make sure you click that subscribe button. And there's plenty of other videos at the end for you to watch as well. That's it from me. Have a great day, guys. And I'll see you tomorrow for the next video.